Hello everyone, I'm Eddie V. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, so the picture of this video, the title, and the picture, the thumbnail we saw, was in broad daylight. But I didn't have time to record because my truck broke down. Um, kind of, coolant leak and everything. Just basically, guys, subscribe to my channel and then you should be able to, whenever I release the video of the vlog, be able to see my vlog about how my truck had a coolant leak. Anyway, this video is about how to tie down containers. It could be a uh, pod container, it could be a military container. And I'm gonna show you what I did in this case. And some of you may give me some backlash for it and some very nasty comments. You shouldn't do that, but this is the way I do it. First of all, each container here weighs 15,000 pounds each roughly. So it's all to get a load is 30,000 pounds, which means you need to put enough force for 30,000 pounds. Anyway, guys, here's how I did it. By, by law, you're supposed to, if you don't have a headboard, which technically the lower, the top deck acts like a headboard. Um, basically, it's, uh, you're supposed to put two straps in the front and if you don't have a headboard in the back, you're supposed to do two straps in the back, preferably, or chains or tie downs. So I always try to follow that standard. So we got four straps on each container. I put one in the middle, one on each side, and the extra little two inch strap, but I run four inch strap on each side. Now also guys, keep in mind, if, if uh, you have pod containers, you will not have this lip usually, as far as I know, last time I hold pod containers. This lip could be sharp if the straps wiggle around enough and um, it could rub up and cut the strap. Basically guys, I did outside of the strap uh, rail in uh, tying down in order for when the vibration of the wind starts vibrating, it does not hit this lip of metal here and basically wear out the strap and start cutting through it. If you're doing pods, hopefully someday, if you're doing, if someday you're doing pods and I'm going to record this video, basically there is underneath here a tie down you could run your straps to. Uh, usually in some step decks have it on one side, some have it on both sides. But anyway, that's how you would normally do it. But I went outside of the rail because I don't want the straps to be wobbling in the wind and rubbing against this lip right here so as you can see i did it outside the rail so basically you guys probably give me a lot of backlash for it but that's just the way i did it and that's how i do it my method so yeah guys thank you for watching this video um subscribe to the channel and subscribe basically for more loading and trucking tips and info Hey guys, I'm Eddie B. 2006. Okay, this particular package. Driving a temp in the 6 Series.